Gathered in these auditorium are heads of federal polytechnics and colleges of education across the country, as well as officials from the Federal Ministry of Education. They're here for the inauguration of visitation panels that will investigate activities of polytechnics and colleges of education, particularly the quality of learning, infrastructure, and the conduct of both staff and students. There are 25 panels for federal polytechnics and 21 panels for federal colleges of education. Each panel is expected to review the performance of the institutions assigned in the areas of governance, academic standards, quality assurance, management of finances, and the relationship between the management on the one hand and the staff and students on the other. There is, however, concern as to the implementation of the recommendations of the panels. We will do our best to ensure we deliver a quality report to the federal government or the federation. Now the implementation, we don't have any control over. The Academic Staff Union of Polytechnics had criticized the appointment of rectors and principal officers for the six newly established federal polytechnics. But the federal government insists that the appointment is not their business. The unions are intended to focus on the welfare of their members. When unions begin to take so much interest in who gets appointed, they made recommendations of people that they wanted to be appointed. You know, and um, also, yes, there is an enabling act that specifies conditions. And as a government, we have tried to comply with those. The 46 panels made up of seven members each are expected to turn in their reports within 60 days from now. The federal government is optimistic that these panels' recommendations would go a long way in transforming the educational institutions in question. But while this is going on, members of the Academic Staff Union of Polytechnics are still on strike. From the National Universities Commission in Abuja, Emperor Simon, Channels Television News.